let us start with the last reaction that is cleavage which is involving your OH bond and carboxylic acid. So till now we have seen esterification reaction. We have also seen reaction with PCL3, PCL5 and thionyl chloride. So let us come back. Basically this reaction with ammonia I have already done in your <coughs> aldehyde chapter also. So reactions with ammonia are very important. Please do practice the reactions. Right. So what do you do when you are practicing reactions with ammonia? Take a paper page in that write reaction of ammonia with aldehyde reaction of ammonia with acid reaction of ammonia with ketones so all the three reactions are at a stretch in that page right so whenever you speak about reaction of ammonia with acid first most important thing which you have to remember is your ammonia when it's reacting with an acid right with an CH3COH first important thing it's undergoing it will undergo a reversible reaction right and once it undergoes reversible reaction it forms a salt ammonium salt right this ammonium salt when you further heat that thing it's going to form <coughs> a compound called amide amide right let us see what it is so remember this particular thing and it's easy for me to explain all the reactions right so what did what should we write now let us write a, an example so in the paper whenever you see an acidic group like this this is one acidic group suppose if you see one more acidic group like this suppose if you see one more acidic group like this like thalic acid suppose if you see <coughs> propanoic acid like this what should you do right so whenever you see an ammonia addition to this first take your pen and write these are reversible reactions done i should form a ammonium salt so this goes and adds here what should i get i'm going to get this is called ammonium acetate a salt so let us write ammonium acetate the, which is a salt form done now this ammonium acetate when I further heat it right I'm going to heat it not strong heating I'm just heating it immediately what happens ammonia gas comes out what what uh, uh, this is this just see two high no, no I should not uh, say ammonia gas let me see what is going to happen two hydrogens from here and one oxygen from here will come out as water what do I get I'm going to get this compound water is out what else is left now observe you have ch3 here i have co here this oxygen has already gone out with water i'm left with two this is called amide which amide is this this is called acetamide acetamide done i'm done with the first one so let me erase this now let me start with the next reaction suppose in the paper you have seen this benzoic acid this is your acetic acid this is your benzoic acid right suppose benzoic acid is given to me your benzene ring and coh write this ammonia write a reversible reaction now start first this is to go and add to this ch c6h5 cooh4 what is this compound ammonium benzoate ammonium acetate ammonium benzoate so write down ammonium benzoate done you are going to further heat this when you further heat this as i said there's a cleave there should be a cleavage here isn't it that is what we are studying so take out two what hydrogens from here and pick up one water from here you are going to write a um, water <coughs> and the leftover C6H5CONH2. So you have to end with NH2. Please remember. So which amide is this? This is called benzamide. Why benzamide? Benzene ring and amide. CONH2 is amide. Right? Done. Let me pick up this thalic. This is which acid? This is called what is thalic acid spelling? Most of the students write the spelling wrong. Thalic acid. First pH. Then TH. Then thalic acid. This is your thalic acid. Now I'm going to add ammonia to this. Now what happens? Two carboxylic acids. So I'm going to add two uh, molecules of ammonia, which are reversible. One goes and adds to this, replacing or first adding. One more goes and adds to this OH. Then what do I get in the molecule? I get a benzene ring with a COO NH4 and one more CO again I've got an ammonium salt right so what is this ammonium <coughs> talate okay it is right it is ammonium talate just like this ammonium benzoate ammonium acetate ammonium 
phthalate now i am going to what am i going to do i am going to further heat this compound when i heat this compound i very well know <coughs> water molecule has to come out right so from where is water molecule coming out h2 from here and <coughs> oxygen from here okay let us assume like that h2 from here and oxygen from here so what am i left with let me see whether i'm writing the right product or not i am going to write like this your COO is like that, NH2 is there because two hydrogens, and your COO is here and NH4 is there, correct? <coughs> now, uh, I think I can take out two, uh, one, more, one more water molecule from here. When I am taking one more water molecule from here, what will happen? This oxygen has already gone, right? So, I can take out two water molecules here. At a stretch, I can take out two water molecules. When, when two water molecules are removed from here, let us see how does the structure look. So, two water molecules, let us write minus two H2O. So, observe carefully, you are going to remove H2 from here oxygen from here done second category h2 from here oxygen from here done so now i'm clear with the concept i have to write a benzene ring your co and h2 and co and h2 what is this compound this compound is called just observe all are amides isn't it so this compound is ph tal tal amide simple now i am still not done what do they do they are going to take this tal amide okay tal amide <coughs> l is also there they are going to take this compound and they are going to further heat strong heating when they strong heat this strongly heat this <coughs> what happens here the leftover still there is hydrogen existing that hydrogen okay this nh2 and h from here okay this is h from here comes out as ammonia gas right nh2 and h comes out from here and you get ammonia out because i can reuse it again so what am i left with i'm left with benzene ring yes one you have your co here done you also have your co group here now what are we going to do we are going to link both the rings and form a cyclic structure with your nh because one h has already gone from here this compound with one nh co and nh is called <coughs> sorry tal imide imide means imide yeah tal imide amide is CO and NH2, imide is CO and NH, this is your product, right? So, ammonium talate, <coughs> tal amide, tal imide, right? Let us see this reaction. Simple basic thing, what should you get? You are not bothered about anything, you are just bothered about COH group. Take your methyl group, take your CH2 group, this becomes CO and H4. When you are further heating this, what did I say? I said water molecule comes out and the leftover compound is CH through your CH2 and COnH2. Done. What compound is this? 1, 2, 3. Prop. Propanamide. The why I am going to get propanamide. So remember one thing, whenever you are doing reactions, first try to form a salt. Ammonium acetate, ammonium benzoate, ammonium phthalate. <coughs> What is this salt? One, one, two, three. Ammonium <coughs> proponate, proponoate. Eight. After that, you are going to just uh, further heat it to get amides. Acid, salt, amides.